you know how much attention you're getting back in the States, right? You have some sense of that. I have a sense, but I don't think I really know. I would say especially, not exclusively, but especially in the LGBTQ community. Yeah. Like, they are paying attention to everything. I mean, in the LGBT community, the support that I've gotten while I've been here is just, it's incredible. Um, and even bigger than that, from, from so many people throughout the whole country and the world, um, you know, I've always, I sort of have a loud mouth. And no, I'm, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, you saw on the ice that I'm flexible, but, like, I really find different ways to put my foot in my mouth sometimes. Um, but I think that I've always been honest, and I've always spoken from the heart. And f I think one thing I really wasn't expecting was for people to listen. And um, I think that when I started to realize people were listening, I felt like it was important for me to speak my mind and um, you know, show the world who I am. And it gives you a little bit of a platform to talk to all those kids who might be watching you not sure about their own lives, not sure where they're going. Absolutely. I mean, I remember being just a young gay kid from the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania, and just feeling like I didn't belong anywhere. And, you know, for a while, I just wasn't a very confident person. I was really doubtful of decisions I would make, and I would go out to, you know, competitions and just not feel very confident in you know, who I was or what I was doing. And I finally got to a place where I said, who cares? I have to do this for myself. And when I really started to embrace that, then I was able to kind of go to my coaches and be like, okay, this is my idea for a training schedule. And I'd be off the ice and I'd be like, you know, I want to wear these kinds of clothes or I want to do this. And I just felt so much power in trying different things just for the sake of I wanted to try it. Yeah. And I felt so much power in just being myself that I felt like it was so important for me to show that to the world. And I've, you know, throughout this whole Olympic experience, I've been honest, but I've also tried to do it with a sense of humor. What would you say to those kids that are watching you right now, that are reading every tweet you write? I would say to those kids, that it doesn't matter where you came from, it doesn't matter who you are, that if you work hard, if you treat others the way that you want to be treated, regardless of what they have said about you, if you set goals, when you meet people, learn everybody's name, and no matter what happens, stay true to yourself, that you can do anything. And those are the most important qualities. Those are Olympic qualities. And being an Olympian is such an amazing experience and opportunity, but it's more than just going to the Olympics. It's a mindset and it's a lifestyle. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.